everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity, then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically, set attention to your mind, and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great day. So this morning, I'm going to talk a little bit on um, Shiva. I'm going to talk a little bit on uh, Shiva, who Shiva is, and uh, maybe experiencing Shiva, um, living with Shiva, and uh, being connected. Okay, so we can, let's get right into this. Shiva, uh, if you do not know who Shiva is, he is a Hindu god. Um, he is the Hindu god of destruction, so he is a destruction god, or god of destruction. And um, he's known for, for uh, destroying, but this doesn't purely mean like uh, a malefic type of destructive nature. Um, it can mean a lot more, you know, because uh, destruction is not truly a bad thing or a dark thing. Um, even though it can be, you know, but, but specifically Shindu, uh, Shindu, Shiva from Hindu is, um, is a destruction god. His name, it translates to, uh, that which is not because, um, he was, uh, able to, to become that which is not. He was able to transcend the physical body and he was able to become, um, something that was non-existent, okay? Or is non-existent so his name translates to that which is not uh, if you've ever seen him he has blue skin you know he has like uh, long hair maybe dreadlock he has uh, a moon crescent pendant in his hair sometimes a serpent Vasuki around his uh, I think it's Vasuki around his neck uh, because he's befriended the serpent um, and or it's his companion Vasuki and uh, he holds his, his right hand up because uh, this symbols this symbolizes that it's all a show. So if you ever see a Hindu god holding their right hand up uh, in their uh, picture uh, in their uh, pictures, then uh, this is pretty much meaning that they were able to transcend Maya. They were able to uh, understand or experience uh, the illusory nature of life, you know. And that's what you can uh, inherit from those gods or. That's what you can uh, get from those gods if you're able, if you uh, go through the, the worship or the, um, the, the, the uh, inspiration, you know, if you uh, follow those gods. Because they're all people or they're all beings. Um, they all exist or uh, they can also not exist, you know, but they are real beings. Um, he lives in the Him or he lived in the Himalayas. Um, Shiva is that which is not. So it's pretty much being able to to uh, transcend the physical body. And what I wanted to talk about in today's video was um, he is the destruction god. So what he is known for is bringing destruction to uh, who you thought you are to be. You know, uh, so pretty much your ego. Um, is what he's known about. He's known to destroy the ego if you follow Sh Shiva, okay? Um, and and it's very, very promising because I most definitely, just by following, um, have, most, des have most, most definitely been able to come into a, a higher um, universal identity or identification um, rather than being uh, identified with, with the encapsulation of the physicality or, or even the mentality, 
you know, um, which most people are, or the average person is identified with their physical body or their mind only uh, due to conditionings and whatnot. But um, it goes so much deeper and what Shiva can bring to you is he can bring, um, he can bring the, the transcendence or the dissolution or the destruction of your ego. So he can literally kill away your ego so you can um, start living more in tune with a, uh, a more pure or holier state of being. He's very holistic in his understanding. So uh, you will naturally gain a, a holistic understanding of life if, you're able, if you want to follow Shiva. You know, and plenty of people have been following Shiva for millennia. You know, uh, he's a very sacred being. He's very powerful. Um, most definitely metaphysically understanding uh, as well. One thing that has, has came to me or come to me comes to me as I'm able to um, progress throughout my life is the the uh, ability to understand the metaphysical is is most definitely being strengthened more and more. The more that I uh, follow or, or devote myself, you know, uh, to him. Okay, and um, it's a very beautiful thing. A lot of people are in tune with Shiva, uh, and it's straight divinity, you know? So, get in tune with him if you feel like you need to or if you want to, but most of the time, um, I want to say that you don't really choose, you know, uh, you can like have the illusion of, of choice, you know, but, but oftentimes it's just you're coming into a like understanding or you need to transcend some old uh, life you need to you need to die and you need to bring rebirth into your life you know and and this is where shiva will come into your life um unexpectedly and he will he will do the killing for you he will bring your death for you so you can bring about your own rebirth and uh be reborn you know and uh, oftentimes you may think that you're choosing, you know, to follow up with Shiva, Shiva, or, or something like this. But but it's pretty much just like illusory because it's um, these are higher dimensional beings, you know, and they can completely control the third dimensional, which uh, we are living within. And um, they have their way. You know, uh, because they're higher dimensional, uh, twelfth dimensional and higher, they uh, they do what they will. You know, they can do what they want. Um, so if they're calling you, or if if they're drawing uh, you into their life for some type of following, you're not going to be able to really avoid it. You know, uh, around high school, I was kind of getting into Hindu mythology, and um, I was like kind of stray of it at first. I was just kind of like going away from it because uh, I guess pre-conditioned religious beliefs and it kind of like put me off at first but then a little bit later on, um, it just came right into my life again uh, and, and since then it's just been kind of like strengthening itself uh, infrastructurally. Um, so it's also been very, very benefiting. Once again, there was never uh, a reason to be stray of, of anything, you know, uh, because all it really is is just uh, opening up yourself more to what has existed, you know, uh, or non-existed uh, throughout throughout uh, history, you know, or 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 what has been. Uh, but yeah, the other day with Shivratri, I didn't get to make a video, so I thought I'd talk a little bit of Shiva today. Um, Shiva, he's a yogi as well. Uh, he founded yoga. Um, and yoga, if you, don't know, if you do not know what yoga means, in Hindu it means union. So yoga is the conscious process of coming into unity with the universe. Um, and this is why he's known for being able to transcend or destroy your um, who you think you are because when you go through yoga um, which is a spiritual practitioner when you do yoga you're aligning your individual bodies your physical bodies geometry with the universal bodies geometry 
and as you come into uh, alignment, you unify and you become one with the universe um, experientially. And this allows for the transcendence process. And uh, this is a type of destruction, you know. Uh, destruction is a form of creation. It's allowing for, for new forms of creation to take place with the rebirth, okay, or the, the recreation. Uh, so Shiva, Shiva is very powerful. Once again, <laughs> he's uh, he's super he's super awesome too. Uh, his energy is 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 very very uh, cosmic. Okay, I don't really know how else to put it, but he's very very um, he's very vibrant. You know, because he's like so divine. Um, he can give you a lot of in, a, a lot of insight, you know, to where like you can pull in from the Akash. Um, so random, like random things, you know, that you don't really understand why you're you're being given this information, but uh, it's needed for for something, you know, uh, most definitely. And then you'll understand just um, in the rhythm that that he brings, you know, which is uh, deciding uh, how the network, how you're going throughout the network. Okay, um, the yogic network or, or whatever it may be, um, but the cosmic network as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I just want to talk a little bit on Shiva once again. Um, do research on, on Shiva, okay, or get like books on Shiva. Because uh, he's most definitely a being that you need to know about only because uh, He's just this he's this sacred, you know, like Everybody should at least know about him and, and understand what he's about uh, just so that Things can come to to a more holistic uh, Way of life for each and every one of us because just by knowing of him uh, It will invite this into your life. You know, you don't even got to follow you don't got to worship, you don't got to even devote yourself. Um, just knowing of him will bring enough, uh, enough of a heightened state of being in order to uh, influence peoples around you as well, you know? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Once again, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down any, any information that you want to comment down. All right, help me um, expand my info. Also, um, generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rising consciousness. I love you, everybody. Peace out and one love. Have a great morning.